in a lot of countries. Greetings, friends. The future. It is something we're all interested in. For it will be the time where the sequels to the movie, to the first movies that we didn't like anyway, will be made. Also, shitty remakes will be made to movies that we loved in the past. I don't know where I'm going with this. Yes, I'm doing a movie that is made by a guy who was in the alumni, who was in the entourage of Ed Wood. I'm Inspector Baron, and you are under arrest. You, I warn you, she's got fingers of steel. Hello, shout on Shidio, my old friend. I'm here to view another movie. Shout on you once again. Welcome to another edition of Satan Screener, where I watch 666 bad movies in order to save my soul. Hi, dog. Tonight, I'm looking at. You know if you put the strobe light outside the window versus inside the room, it looks more like lightning? The man who was in the Ed Wood entourage. Please! Please don't hurt me! Yeah, the crap doesn't fall too far from the backside. I don't know how he does it, but he does make a movie worse than Ned Wood. <laughs> yeah. Blood of the Vampire Wolves follows this fat guy. It's obvious, he saw a Pulp Fiction or The Professional. Oh, Anna, Anna, you can't believe. You know, I was just expecting to see a, a normal vampire movie tonight, but it was so thrilling. He goes and he gets, um, attacked. I guess he becomes a vampire werewolf. Even though with the great makeup job, he ends up looking like a disgruntled homeless Santa. Going to do with this, Jack? Give that to Jeff. He'll book it as evidence. Tell him I want it down to the lab as quickly as we can get it there. And I'll see the girl right now. British cop is on the case. A British accent. Are you from England? Yes. I'm on one of those exchange programs. Uh, Scotland Yard has one of your people, and you have me. 
Something tells me that he was traded for this guy. Yeah, this guy kind of proves that not all British people are good actors. So anyway, he is the British cop who is on the case, and he scurries about a putt-putt golf course wall, and he finds the people that creates the vampire wolf. And, uh, and they consist of this woman that just walked off screen. She was a former actress who... Uh, uses the blood that the vampire wolf has to keep herself young and Conrad Brooks is her servant and he's mute because he's doing the vampire part I guess since you know he's probably the actor that actually has the most screen credits he decides to give himself no lines The puppet guy from Tim and Eric Austin's show shows up. Aren't you comfortable? My comfort has very little to do with it. The reception that we got wasn't exactly friendly. After all, you were caught trespassing. Isn't that against the law? I'll have you know that I'm a police officer. And okay, the eyeline on this is really screwed up. I mean, he's either reading off a cue card or he's talking to... If you had to see this movie for one thing, it's the epic telephone scene. Van, uh, I know how you feel, but there's been a change in plans. I've got to get a handle on what's been going on oh, up at that uh, Selena Yarnell's house. I don't want you up there. I have a feeling it's far too dangerous. I talked to the attorney and it seems that no one knows what happened to Selena since the house was turned over to the Shepherd family. I gather that Monk Shepherd, that's the, you know, the mute, well he's lived at the caretaker's cottage since he was born. But nobody has lived in the main house for over 40 years. The furniture and all the stuff was sold off years ago. There's no phone up there because Mo Monk can't talk. Yeah, I know, it's a weird mess and a mess of unanswered questions. That, that, yeah, that's why I'm not waiting around for a search warrant. I think I've found a better way. Yeah, the people at the motion picture store swear that there's a tunnel cut in the bank of a stream. It was built back during the uh, prohibition. Yeah, and the tunnel leads to a trap door and then up into the main house, up into the mansion. No, no, I told you it's... No, 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 it's too risky. No. I don't want you ever... Don't you ever do as you're told? You better know that I plan to be up there in just an hour from now. There's no time for us to meet. Besides, I don't want anyone to see us going up there together. And if you're still sure that you want to go through with this, You'll have to go over to Park Drive, just south of Field Way, straight up the hill, through the woods, and when you see the fence, you'll see the hole that I cut, that I've cut in there. Come on through the fence, and you should find me down by the stream. I'll be searching for that tunnel. Banner, I think you know that I'm beginning to care for you a lot, maybe more than I should. I guess I really do want you with me, but please, please, 
Be careful. Please be careful. Okay. Uh, holy shit, that is horrible. What do you think, Sad Bill Cosby? So in the exciting conclusion, we have... A stock footage explosion. Yes, Conrad Brooks made a movie. And he got everyone in his apartment building to uh, be in it. Conrad Brooks does succeed in making a movie more unwatchable than Ed Wood. But I still would watch it over. Uh, what, what Hollywood <laughs> produces now nowadays? I mean, with the uh, you know, at least it's not some romantic comedy where you know they're going to end up getting together at the end, or some uh, fake vampire movie that <laughs> that doesn't really have vampires in it that was written by a Mormon, or some summer blockbuster action movie that. Dude, so can we watch Transformers three now? You see, you see, you and your stupid little minds. Stupid, stupid. That's an elf out of you. Get him, Jason. And remember, future events such as these will happen to you in the future.